What a lot of people didn't know is that when Gunner made that statement, he was testifying against Young Thug, which led them to going and even investigating the whole TSF Rico. I want y'all to look at the fact that somebody had the phone in the like in the 402 conference. He had to take a side conference because that wasn't even a courtroom. I want y'all to really look at this, man, because a lot of people baffled by this. A lot of people startled. People shocked looking at it like, hold on. Why would he go into a separate conference instead of sitting there and basically taking his own weight? He did that because of one thing. All he had to do was say, yes, ma'am. They already had the questions wrote down and the answers to them that he gave them before they had the whole conference. I feel that it's his fault because you trusted him. You sit there and thought, even if you did send him a kite and tell him, hey, man, just take the plea deal, man. It's going to make me look good. I never met a person who sat there and met somebody in a bullpen and literally said, like, hold on. Hey, man, what you doing? Hey, watch out, man. Hey, hey, boy. He looked right through the bars. He, hey, man, I want you to let them people know that. Man, tell them that YSL ain't no game. He went in there and said YSL ain't no game. Next thing you know, they flipping around on him. They instantly put YSL is a game by him even telling his lawyer to bring that to their awareness. And Yo Gotti said that one thing that connected this with the whole Young Dolph case is the main fact that his cousin was included inside of the YSL Rico. I want y'all to look at that, man, because it goes back. And again, I want to let y'all know the bag was dropped for Gunner to instantly get up out that jam. Gunner wasn't going to sit in there knowing that he got family outside and anybody know. If you got family outside, what you going to do is either you going to stick to the cold, stay 10 toes down, or you going to literally sit right there and, okay, I'm going to sit in here and, uh, you know, I'm going to let him get out first. And then he, gonna, he ain't going to flip on me. It was so many people who names was mentioned, and these was major rappers. Even one of the rappers who signed to Lil Dirt named Slime Life Shorty. They said that he was one of the ones that told the brother. He was the ones that told. These are people that's real close in the inner circle of the... I want y'all to know, even if they didn't do the crime, they didn't want to go down for nothing that nobody else did. It was so many people who didn't even get locked up for it, but they picked those few people, the individuals that you see on the screen. It was so many people who realized they tried to pull up on Gunner, all for one reason, because of Gunner told. You got to understand, Gunner still stay in Atlanta. Sauce Walker had to take back what he said about Gunner snitching. You feel me? And when somebody got to do that, they got to rekindle on their word. And you know how people, if they say something, they mean it. If you from the streets, you know for a fact you got to watch who you be around because you don't know if they're snitch or not. Y'all ain't got into that situation yet. You don't know if once, once y'all go down, some in the car, they going to real live, tell the police it's yours, even if it's their car or your car. If Gunner would have never got pulled over with Young Thug, this, like the case wouldn't have been going in Gunner favor for the simple fact that you know if Young Thug would have got pulled over by himself, he could have easily said, that ain't mine, because he was going to ride around with the blicky anyway. A lot of people got sent up behind this, and I want y'all to know one thing. Young Thug Cousin sent back trying to lay low because he don't want his name in it, and he was the shooter. The whole YSL Rico, it led everybody to looking at the fact that the judge addressed everything that went on, and dude who took that phone call in the courtroom, his girlfriend came like, she came to the forefront and let everybody know, like, he not finna stay in there and everybody want Young Thug. Everybody want Young Thug to get booked. Like, it's sad for her to say that because we don't want to see nobody locked up, but in all actual reality, some people don't want us, like, looking at the fact that, boy, it was too many people who didn't get booked for it. But we can all look at the fact that Y'all need to change certain things because if you're going to be a rapper, you signed up for this. At the end of the day, if your homies want to be under you as your entourage, they signed up for this. And you can't real life tell nobody, hey, man, 
you gonna have to get rid of Gunner. You can't, he can't do that because he already in hot water and Atlanta hot right now. We all know that YSL, they did all this, all that. Everybody they mentioned all the weapons charges, all the like everything that they did within the time frame of 2013 all the way to now. It's sad to see them turn on that man like that, but at the end of the day, we all understand that birds of a feather flop together, and you know that they had involvement in everything that went on, but they took plea deals before him, so it leaves him in a messed up situation like a rock between a hard place. I want y'all to really understand what's going on, man, because it's people who out here can't like open their eyes and figure out like is you gonna hang with people hang with them and make sure that they straight before you go out into public with them but if you realize gonna get in tour with people every time you meet somebody man you need to just stay cool and stay by yourself man at the end of the day if you know for a fact that people gonna snitch on you because of what you're doing you need to lay low it's only a select few people who even know sauce walker his homie was even going there like i want y'all to understand they waited in that black car and dude hopped out the passenger seat once he hopped out he walked around the car once he walked around the car he ran right up to their car and instantly started dumping inside the passenger window i want I want y'all to really look at this, man, and really pay attention to the fact that they couldn't even drive off quick enough for the simple fact that they caught them off guard. That's why I always tell y'all, watch y'all self, watch y'all surroundings, man. You have to make sure all your eyes are dotted and your T's is crossed. There's so many people out here looking at the fact that, oh, he's a sweet lick, all oh, because he got a bag. No, man, y'all got to really understand, man. They wanted Sauce Walker homie to check in. You can't just go to no other city without checking in. A lot of people sit back and don't really take heed to that, but we need to understand what's really going on, man. We have to open our eyes to the fact that they know what they doing. Just like Lil Durk mentioned in his song that he told Young Thug, everybody who he blew at, when I say blue, he blicky down. I want y'all to really look at this, man. Even... Being in contact with Gunner, it goes to show who playing what part and who with what side. A lot of people took sides already, and they said Young Slam Life Shorty, he is signed to Lil Dirk OTF, so therefore he don't want to be booked because he only affiliated with YSL. It's 11-page RICO indictment between a whole TSF, so y'all got to understand the whole Sauce Factory Everybody who real live was out there flexing them chains, flexing them cars. They already raided Sauce Walker House a couple years ago for a whole nother incident. Y'all got to really look at this. It's too many people out there who know for a fact. Y'all got to watch what y'all do, man. Y'all on them phones talking and doing all that, telling y'all business to these people, man. Y'all realize setting y'all self up for failure, and a lot of people know for a fact that Sauce Walker, he knew for a fact that once Buddy hopped out and caught him in the driveway and he couldn't pull out, dude walked right up to the window. It was over with for the simple fact that everybody was in the garage. Once you know for a fact that if you in the street, your number one enemy is the females, man. The females are still out there setting people up. You feel me? Setting the dudes up with the money who got the bag. They chasing the bag. And I want y'all to know that regardless of how street you is, a lot of street dudes fold under pressure. He already exposed the fact that they was running from everybody that was in YFN Lucci camp. Like, real talk, y'all. After that happened with Big Nut, you got to understand, man, they real life started investigating Young Thug as a like as a as his own person instead of investigating the whole YSL. No, they hit YSL with the Rico, but you got to understand one thing. Gunna already gave them the information they need to know. YSL been looked at for a long time, but they start looking at Thug because of what happened with Nut. They already knew his name was ringing through the hood in Atlanta. We already know one thing. When you get out of jail for snitching, you're going to end up getting dropped for the, from the label, like real talk. We know for a fact that they're going to realize, sit there and say, Gunna, you can't even come back to the YSL studio. 
for the simple fact that you slammed out the game. That's why Saucy Sancho said that Jay Prince Jr. was the one who realized he know everything that's going on in Houston, and he could have realized stopped the whole Rico from going on. He could have stopped it. It was an 11-page Rico indictment, man, with all type of stuff. People getting caught with blickies. People getting caught with, man, all type of stuff that they don't even supposed to have on them. Like, we already know this, man. In every hood, we know for a fact that if you get out early, you snitched. If you realize get less of time than the persons you on a case with, if they're your co-defendants, you snitched. A lot of people not cut from that cloth. You shouldn't put people in position who you know for a fact going to fold under pressure. We know this, and we know a lot of dudes, they from the street, like the hoods of Atlanta, they treacherous, man. They A, hey, they be out there, man, A, hey, body after body after body. Like, at the end of the day, we know this, man, but we know for a fact that you can do all that while you out, but as soon as you get booked, you want to go back out to that, you feel me? And it don't happen like that. Y'all got to look at the fact that once Gunna got out, it opened up a can of worms because everybody looked at it like, hold on. We we basically still locked up, and you out. Why is you out and we still locked up? But if we all go back to the beginning, they tried to basically get Gunna out in the first place. You feel me? They were saying release Gunna and let everybody else stay in there. But we know for a fact that if they release Gunna, we know for a fact he can tell if it would have been at the beginning because... They push for them to release him. You feel me? So I know a lot of people sit back and pay attention to what's going on. And y'all got to really be cautious about the people you keep around you. Sauce Walker cousin, he wasn't going for none of that because he knew that somebody mentioned his name. You can't mention the head of the whole clique name, man. Like real talk, Gunner is the reason why Young Thug is finna get all this time. And Gunner is the reason why... TSF finna get all this time. And he said what really happened. He said how they tried to real live make it to make it seem like Gunner was the one. But real live, they already been watching TSF. Like you gotta understand this, man. Really pay attention to it. Cause a lot of people sit back and really don't know like what's really going on. But if you really put your finger on it, you'll really pay attention to everything that's going on. Because the people who was Arrested them, the main people who basically Sauce Walker didn't want. He didn't, didn't like you know the situations that Sauce Walker got into in the past. So it's people that could tell on him now. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, man. Hey, y'all read the thumbnail. Hey, y'all saw the thumbnail. Y'all read the title. Hey, y'all gotta pay attention to everything that's going on because I got some breaking news for y'all today, man. Sauce Walker and the whole Sauce Factory, TSF, man. You got to understand, man, they've been hit with multiple RICO charges due to everything that's been going on out in Houston. And I want y'all to know that they brought up Duke the Jeweler name and they brought up J. Prince Jr. as a person of interest. Like, I want y'all to pay attention to what's really going on. Sauce Walker could have realized, he could have covered his tracks, man, better than how they did, man. They realized, put themselves in a messed up situation, and it all goes back to everybody who they realized trusted. I want y'all to look at the fact that Sauce Walker, boy, one of his homies, boy, just got knocked off, boy. They just sent Buddy up. Y'all got to look at this, man, because everybody in Houston paying attention to the fact that everybody who told on them, it was 13 people. Y'all got to understand, they mentioned Sauce Walker as the person who basically was the ringleader of everything that went on. So I want y'all to really pay attention to what's going on, man. People sit back and look at this from a whole different perspective, but you have to really be mad for what's going on. Sauce Walker, he really think that Gunner was the one who real life gave the tip on everything that was going on. Couldn't nobody have known what literally happened until Gunna literally got released? The everything that went on, it dates back to when Gunna was going through his plea deal. Y'all need to open y'all eyes and realize what's really going on because if everybody get booked, who else gonna be out here to real life sit there and real life put the music out that people need to hear? 
Sauce Walker made a comment on the Duke the Jeweler situation, and I think this kind of brought him into, like, basically the light. Like, uh, again, a lot of people sit there. If y'all don't know what happened with Duke the Jeweler, Duke the Jeweler was he, a Chicago jeweler. He was around 26 years old, man. He realized he had his own business going on, and he realized he had his stuff going for him, and he was traveling back and forth. Basically, selling rappers jewelry, giving rappers pieces, and a lot of people thought that he was sweet because he was coming with basically no real security, just like everybody else who's coming to Houston. Sad to say, he did one thing that everybody else did, like Takeoff, R.P. Duke the Jeweler, R.P. Takeoff. Takeoff came out there, checked in. You feel me? They said he didn't check in. Duke the Jeweler came out there, checked in. He never checked out. Like, real talk, man. Somebody ran up on Duke. I want y'all to pay attention to what's going on. And Charleston White made a good explanation on how people take things for granted and how some people need really need to sit back and analyze what's really going on so that they can have a real understanding of, basically, you can't be trusting these rappers out here because a lot of them really have wanted to be in their spot. And I'm going to let you know from firsthand from the horse's mouth, this peso, peso, he finna tell everything that's going on. Hey, what you think it is? Hey, man, And he's saying basically that he not down with the Rico. He realized saying that his name ain't mentioned in the Rico. He said that they told on everybody but him. He said he with the family now. He say he finna realize just invest in real estate and stop rapping. As a whole, I want y'all to understand, man, Peso Peso was one of the ones who sat back there and kept the whole TSF together when everybody tried to lead TSF, and people know this. Y'all rappers, man, sit your ass down somewhere, man. This is, it ain't looking good out here. If you rap and you in the streets, get out the streets, man. If you rap, stay out the streets, man, straight up. Like, the feds is coming. The feds are coming, man. Get up out of there, man. A dozen men behind bars facing federal charges as part of a joint operation to crack down on violence. And this is something that we all know for a fact that they thought they was going to get away easily, but it didn't happen like that. Possession of a firearm. Guns and drugs, they fuel violence. Like, they, they feel that these people is the main ones who really got them to even crack down on them because it was too many people who was moving around loose. And you know for a fact that TSF, they realize they loud. When they go in public, everybody know that's them because they make it be known. And when you make things be known like this, eyes start watching and people start being on your bumper. You really got to look at this man from a whole different perspective because some people don't really know that when you really take everything that you done did and you really look back on it, you be like, damn, I wonder what this catch up with me. Like, you got to look at everybody who played a role in that because it was multiple people who was even entwined with the TSL Rico. Like, Gunner, he did what he did. He got out early. He realized, got to go back and basically snitch again on Young Thug in front of the courtroom. Young Thug still booked. So we all know this. And one thing you got to understand, it was previous beef between Sauce Walker and the whole Young Thug, YSL. He realized, went on, he went off on them so bad to the point where he brought up the fact that they was running from YFL, YFN Lucci now. I want y'all to really look at this, man, because we can all really sit back and look at this, man, be like, 13 people was charged? 13? Like, people sit back and look at this, and people be like, hold on, 
them, that's too many people. You feel me? At the end of the day, it's too many people. We know for a fact that this could easily be avoided if you realize you got to stay out the streets at some point in time. We just talked to his family. They already said, like, man, you need to stay out of the city because if you go in the city, they're going to end up locking you up because you got too many connections and you on too many phone calls with these people who real life just got booked. How your crew get booked? You feel me at the end of the day, man? We all know this, man, and we know for a fact that Gunner, he realized he opened his mouth too soon. And TSL, they realized they, hey, it's finna, hey, it's finna heat up right now. It's really finna heat up for Houston, man. And from what FBI saying, everything is acute information right now, and everything is public documented. I want everybody to know that from them even saying that TSF. They go back to who owns that company. Like, at the end of the day, we know this, man. And we can all really sit back and be like, Sauce Walker better be safe, man. You better keep your eyes dotted and your T's crossed, man. Because it's a lot of people sitting back looking at it like, boy, this could fall down on you, boy. You could end up getting picked up, getting scooped up last. Just like they scooped that homie, boy. At the end of the day, we know this, boy. Like, we know for a fact that everybody who rock with TSF, they send back looking at it like, we got to stay, A, hey, we realize got to stay solid. We got to stay tight. But we know for a fact that it's always going to be somebody that fold in these type of situations. And the reason for that being is one thing. The FBI, they already said that it was too many people who got caught with the blicky. If a lot of people didn't get caught with the blicky, it was over six people who got caught with moves. If they didn't have them on them, it wouldn't be no Rico because they kept saying it had switches on it. Why would you have switches on it and then get caught with it? Even if your name ain't mentioned in it right now at the moment, boy, you better be safe because you know for a fact how they work, boy. They real life want to sit back and keep their eye on you and see if you're going to make another move. What What's your next move? Your next move? It got to be your best move because you don't want them people real life coming to get you all because of what your homies did. That's why you real life got to stop hanging around people who don't understand the fact that this is a revolving door, man. We got to understand everything that's been said in this whole Rico indictment should be a clear understanding that you have to be safe when you out there, man. You can't real life be out there moving as if you real life ain't got all these people in your corner. People looking at that. You got all these people. Y'all y'all 20 deep. People want to know what y'all finna do, man. Why is y'all 20 deep and it ain't no concern and nothing going on? Why is y'all 20 deep and ain't really nothing to really happen but something negative? Half the people in his whole camp, they send back looking at it like J. Prince Jr. had to have a hand in this because J. Prince Jr., he just got out of this whole situation, you feel me, with this takeoff in Duke the Jeweler. He had to have a whole hand in it, man. So people sent back looking at it like, hold on, did J. Prince Jr. basically, like, did he get a word like, like he ain't protecting TSF? Like, y'all got to really understand that, man. You got to look at this, man, because... TSF rock with Atlanta to a certain extent, but J. Prince Jr. and his whole movement, they real life, they go back and forth to Atlanta all the time. And again, Boosie lives in Atlanta, so they real life can't really be out there too much or even out there seeming like they just get in tour with people. Open your eyes to what's really going on because everybody know for a fact that Gunner was going to end up folding. He folded under pressure for one reason. He wanted to come home, boy. I want y'all to know you got to watch who you be around because some people ain't, ain't real life genuine. They not thorough because a lot of people, like some people have ulterior motives, some people don't, but some people you have to really be cautious of because their brain, like, They'll be on some, like, you, you can tell they'll fold under pressure. 
That's why I always say you got to watch your surroundings. You got to watch these dudes y'all just meet. Soon as you meet, dude, he got, a, he got a homie with him. Like, real talk, man. You don't know if they finna do anything. They already said that at the end of the day, they end up putting everything on the whole TSF. But they going to end up charging the person who started TSF. So y'all got to really look at that, man. And this coming straight from Houston and Atlanta is the one who real life sent back like we was cool with them. But now they want to try to keep pulling these stunts. They want to keep trying to beef with us when we real life savages. Too many people know for a fact that Sauce Walker, he don't play those games. Sauce Walker, he real life sit back and he will go to Atlanta and a. Hey, he gonna go. Hey, gonna, he gonna send it up. When once it's up, it's stuck. He know for a fact that everybody in Atlanta gonna realize tuck their tail as soon as he fly out there. Like we know this, and a lot of people want justice for takeoff, man. RP takeoff, RP Duke the Jeweler, man. And like I said again, this like this not point no finger at nobody because Sauce Walker know for a fact of the people in the company that he keep. We all know that everybody you keep around you, they can either be your upbringing or your downfall. People sit back and look at it like Sauce Walker could easily avoid everything that's going on if he will open his eyes to what's really going on because his homies, it's your homies, boy. And I know Quavo sent back, he's still grieving for what happened, but he know for a fact that Sauce Walker know what's going on and he know that Jay Prince Jr. had his hand in the Duke the Jeweler situation. And we know for a fact that Jay Prince Jr. ain't been real live book yet for it. 